Okay, um, we're going to start with this problem. It says compute the line integral of the vector field where f is z0 3x cubed and your c is a color ellipse given by the parameterization of x equals 2 cosine of t, y 3 sine of t, and z equals 1 from these points 2, 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 1. Okay, uh, first we want to convert our c into a parameterization which is given already, which is x, y, and z. So this is your, back, your parameterization and then you can just put it in a vector, which will be 2 cosine of t, 3 sine of t, and 1. When you have that, you can convert that integral into into the integral from from b from a to b, but because they said it's a quarter quarter of a ellipse, you know that a whole circle is goes from zero to pi from zero to two pi, and if it, they're only using this part of the circle, which is this is gonna be your point two zero one, and this is your point zero three one. Because it's only the quarter of the circle, you divide 2 pi by 4. And that's going to give you pi divided by 2. And that's going to be the interval of your integral. Now in that, you, put, you plug this RT into your vector field, which is, which is going to give you f of r of t. And you dot it by the integral of your parameterization to respect of t. So we're plugging everything we have from 0 to pi over 2, f of that, which is going to give you z is 1, so it's going to be 1, 0, 3, uh, cube of x, which is cosine of t, and you are, and this is this is your vector field, and you're dotting it by the derivative of your c, which is r of t. So you take a derivative of that, which will give you negative two sine of t, three cosine of t and zero. Putting, putting everything together, dotting it, you should get the answer of the integral from zero to pi over two of negative two sine of t. Which will, you take that two out of the integral, which will be negative two, integral of zero to pi over two over sine of the integral of sine of t. And this is going to give you negative 2 times negative of cosine of t from 0 to pi over 2. We know that cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so it's just going to be, and the cosine of 0 is 1, so it's going to be negative 2 times negative, negative 1. This is going to give you a positive times a 2, which is going to give you a negative 2, which that's going to be your answer.